Hello and welcome to another at Hello Total War. I am Carpus and I'm playing a 1v1 land battle. As you can see, I am playing at the Huns and I believe it was the Eastern, not Roman Western, uh. And it was the, uh. Western Roman Empire. Okay, wonderful. All good. Um, start off and say. Try to do a balanced army as the Huns. I wasn't trying to be too cav heavy. I have a start which is pretty much all cav, apart from like four units. So, this one, as you can see, I've got a uh, steady mix. I've got two sets of uh, two spearmen here again for the trees, and I've got another two up here. These were just to basically protect the uh, cavalry. So, when I use these to harass and skirmish, I could have had one here, one maybe here. So, if they had cavalry, they can try and attack. They all have to be very mindful of my um, spearmen. But as you can see here, they've got cavalry and defending them all the way around the other side. So, currently, that's all right there. It's. Uh, Pretty moot currently. All of these guys here are currently hidden in the trees, so they're not 100 sure that we are still here. And the rest of my army pretty much is um, just standard medium mounted infantry. I put some rank on them as well. And my general, which is the uh, Steppy Warlord, as you can see. Coming up here, my uh, horse archers are the uh, Honic horse archers. Same reasons as I mentioned really uh, before. So uh, let's get this game sort of started. As you can see here, uh, I've got my units just to stop here. I was going to send them carrying going forward. I did have it sort of like going across here and then going across there. But now that I know it's sort of bringing their men across here to the lands to face my uh, front cavalry, I thought it would be best to have them just a little bit more carefully going through this tree line here. But I do believe they get caught out relatively soon. <coughs> my voice would like to prevail. Not 100% sure which they had. They have a uh, see couple of slingers, a few brigands. They're not even actually brigands, are they, in this here for uh, Rome? A few uh, heavy uh, spearmen tree here, and a few obviously very heavy melee infantry. We've got some crossbowmen as well, some marvelous. They're all sort of sorted up quite quickly. One thing we've got to be careful here is I can't really hit them with anything. I have to play very defensively. I have to stay to the tree lines because the cavalry are very ineffective in terms of charging within the tree lines. I had to make sure that my uh, cal my cavalry, my spearmen tree was going to be a little bit more southwards. Because if they did attack or northwest, really, is to count up as north. So I need to sort of just have them here on my left hand side flank. I do believe I changed that relatively quick. I am surprised actually I've not noticed a little bit sooner. Sort of thing. As you can see here with my cavalry, I'm just going to split them up slightly. Have I been here here already? I have not. But I am currently under fire though. The idea of pretty much cutting these people around like this just to sort of make them spread out, not have too many like range units facing one way or the other. So as you can see, I'm sort of here marching and shooting at the same time. Uh, these units here do manage to take my guys somewhat soon, as you can see, I already know they're there. And I run my troops down here to the cavalry a little bit more, or well, a little bit less effective. Run a few of my actual uh, main axe uh, melee infantry. And obviously my general here just sort of cover it. Only two units here, so I can't really dedicate myself to the charge. These two units... Oh, no, units. oh yeah, these two units here, I do sort of face more along here in a second. This is the initial charge, as you can see, some of their uh, guys will get caught out, and their cavalry is starting to move. As my uh, melee axe infantry here, I pull back my spearmen. I'm seeing I got this spearmen to go slightly more to the left. That's because now that their cavalry is starting to mobilize, I do not want to be caught out by that at any point in time. So as they're starting to pull out, you can see they've got some decent rank upon them as well. And I don't know if... No, I don't put any on my uh, spear of injury. So you can see, we did manage to hold up two sets of cavalry, which is pretty good. I don't want to have these guys come down here and hit these units again. I'm going to bring these guys across to help with them. My general was slightly better than these cavalry here. So I sent them into melee just to sort of help them boss them. As you can see here, their um, spear of injury didn't hold out too well either against my charge from the trees. Down from here, what I kind of did here was to send up all of my men. I don't worry about, uh, really worry about these. They're pretty um, strong against um, any form of ranged attack, and I put them in these formation as well. The whole point of these is they'd appear here to soak up some damage and make a small distraction. When I send these guys in and uh, my cavalry up here, they'd be able to do a little bit more damage than if they weren't. Obviously, because they're going to melee against the infantry as well, I do manage to win a small little fight here. But with all of this reinforcements, of course, the general and the uh, Arbalist, I've got to be very careful. I'm going to be very careful that my cavalry here has really lost their. Uh, already lost six men. Uh, my enemy today, who's actually a really nice guy. I had fun talking to him, there's not many people you get to talk to quite a lot, and it's nice when I first come back after a very long time to have someone who's actually pretty genuine and pretty cool. 
Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't actually notice that all the scores on fire. I did notice, however, that my uh, caribou have been kept a lot more than I wanted to, so I started to pull them back already. I'm starting to organize this cavalry here up a little bit as well. And I'm going to pause it in one second. Just because I really do feel like I'm talking quite loudly over this audio. Wonderful. <laughs> Nah, that sounds too quiet. Oh, I can never get it right. I'll turn it off and get it. There you go, as you can see, they've got to be slightly careful now because they're going to caught out by cavalry. Their generals, they have dedicated quite strongly to the charge. Uh, his general was clearly a lot stronger than mine, so, or my cavalry at all, my cavalry is uh, very weak in terms of melee. So when he was charging like this, I was there like, okay, it's cool that you've charged me because you have effectively killed your general, but it's not cool because if you get caught up, well, if I get caught up, I'm dead. So it's going to be one of his things when I have to try and um, ride around. But at this point in time, we are starting to look pretty. I say scarce now, but we've actually got about 50 50 currently still going on. Over here, however, as you can see, that a lot of my uh, cavalry didn't manage to get damaged. And we're all but out of ammo here as well. Having these guys here, like, I didn't want to keep them steel for too long because I'm just going to get them down by so many arrows. So, in terms of actually the fight here, I thought I'm just going to move these up quicker the better. Our blessed is aim for uh, my general by the teams of that. At first, I thought they were just missing all of these guys. But um, they managed to take down uh, one of my general at least. So right now, as you can see, we're just going to start mobilizing um, the core of my melee infantry actually into the heart of the fight. I'm going to be sort of careful here to who I'm sort of aiming at. So if you just aim at the wrong person here, it could have been slightly different if I hit from here. Then oh, no, I thought there's another missile melee cavalry here, but still they can get sort of surrounded quite easily here. What I could have done is possibly use this cavalry here for a little bit more of a. Uh, a little batting around the hits them, because obviously I still have to be very careful there, carry if I didn't just notice over there. I have noticed up here, I'll just go up there again in a second, I wasn't really paying too much attention to that fight. I sort of moving the uh, cavalry around a little bit at a time. The thing I've got to be careful now is their cavalry, because their cavalry joins this fight properly. I am in a very big bit of trouble, and also got to be very careful that I can see their melee infantry is actually, and that's actually quite good, I have to turn these guys around, I don't know why they're caught so much off guard. That, I was about to say that sounds, sounds like the cavalry has just engaged us in the trees here. If you have been caught up between my men and the tree line here, I have my uh, general here just hitting the back of them just to try and help this in any sort of way I can. Here looking good though, I've got a couple units of them routing. Yeah, fair enough, they are the slingers. Now comes their melee infantry. I think this is when I realized that my cavalry is a little bit out of ammo, so I'm starting to send them in. So I'm to send these guys as well. I'm going to put on slow motion just because I'm going to just say what's going on up here. Up here we were charging around so much that we lost so much. Uh, Arrows doing nothing. I thought, well, I've got a new, well, I've got a number of advantage. While I've got a nice number of advantage to made from that, I really had, and you sort of disconnected from the rest of the army. I kind of felt quite safe doing this. So, in time, I do believe that here we just managed to uh, route out the general. So I'm going to come back here, a very quick shot. See if I can make heads and tails what's going on here. I've got my, I've got one set of uh, spear and I've got my cavalry, and then one my general. Really, one mistake that I felt I did do, I put my general in too many hot spots like that. It was a bit very here and there. I'm trying to fight this off here though, I am losing command despite my extra rank. I don't actually know what these guys are. Oh, okay, they're the leader of the guys. Alright, well, I can sort of understand now why I'm half losing this battle. But as you can see up here, I felt like I was doing quite well. I was sort of slowly winning despite the um, spear there into my cavalry. My uh, melee infantry is far superior and will do a lot of damage while they're there. Here, as you can see, some men, as they just said, is rally. It took me, it took me about a few seconds to actually kind of fully realise where and what they were doing. Over here, however, I am starting to break and injure their cavalry more than I have ever done before. What I should have done here, while I had the chance, because there's not really much around, is use my general to hit into these a lot sooner. I should have done that. As you can see up there, I've already broken their general, so I was like, okay, that's cool, we've broken the general. Send down these guys, and hopefully we can come here and send something that's awesome for when we need them. So as you can see, in terms of melee right now, we are very, uh... And there's my general. As I was saying, I sent, I, picked, I kept them in that sort of situation, and in that hot spot, for far too long. So now the battle really does begin, does it not? <laughs> Okay, and as you can see, I've got my cavalry sort of charging down now, so they're going to sort of just hit it from numerous angles. Didn't mind charging into uh, the spear infantry here, purely because the spear infantry is looking the other way. When the spear infantry is looking the other way, if you get a nice charge from them, you can disperse them more or less right off the back, so that's kind of nice. And, um. Huh. The only reason why I said her there, I, I talked about it at the end of the game, because right now, as you can see, I'm hitting into their, uh, their crossbowmen quite strongly. 
uh, still in quite good morale here, and I've got a couple of sets of cavalry coming down from the top. So here now it just becomes our little cavalry sesh. <laughs> there you go, I split that cavalry off as well, I do remember doing this now. That hurt may not be needed now, because I don't fully really remember what is really going to damage this bit. There are spearmen here, kind of half race themselves, but they run facing the right way, so it did take quite strong damage there. So there, as you see, they are starting to waver. I have to try and keep the momentum up here with my uh, cavalry because I cannot have these arm. Keep pulling the marvelous, these uh, crossbowmen firing that many into me. As you can see, he's got some along this, on the side as well. So he's kind of got a nice little spread with quite a lot of men in between to hold up my cavalry in terms of that. Lost another set of cavalry here. But as you can see, that these guys here are starting to waver and they're starting to route. Managed to complete the break of this unit here, which is wonderful. I've only got two sets of cavalry left. Oh, and he's only got three units as well. But as you can see, our, our charge momentum is sort of slowing down. I'm trying to push through into one of these guys here, but this, the uh, sword melee inventory is just holding them back ever so slightly. There you go, another unit of mine is broken, but so is there, so it's a waver and route. Spirit Mitchell here just rallied, which is a bad bit of news for me. My last cavalry unit is holding on with only 40 men left, charging straight into the. Uh, the uh, spear entry there, but I don't really have to worry about them. They're dispersed. I don't have that many men, so a uh, cavalry hit. They won't be. They don't have the strong entity against that in that sort of regard. Going back here, they're hit into their uh, their crossbow infantry as they burn down the trees of our forest gods. Managed to hit them here. Obviously, I didn't have to worry too much. So I have to keep jumping. I cannot let anyone really gain any form of concentration. The uh, crossbowmen, as you can see here, are starting to route. I thought I'd try a bit of sneaking after I hit them into them, try and move them around and hit them into again to see if that would do a little bit extra. It turned out it kind of really didn't. It might have caused a few of my men to die needlessly. So again, charge them into the uh, the spear infantry now after these guys here are starting to break, and that was it. This is a shameful display. I've been caught, but that's probably one of the closest games I've had in Attila. I hope you enjoyed.